Hey everyone, my name is Victor Dwyer, and today we are going to be reviewing KPOC, an all-in-one Amazon management tool. And I'm really excited to show it to you. It has lots of capabilities. Let's dive right in. Whoop. Perfect. This is the KPOC dashboard. It's a very clean UI, um, has a lot of capabilities. So very easy to read, total sales, buy box percentages, um, composite score, um, gives you all this data. Nothing too crazy here, to be honest. Uh, on the dashboard, this just gives you overall metrics, something to look about, low review ratings. Um, it'll basically give you any insights of what needs to happen on the account. So pretty easy of what's happening there. And also it helps you manage your inventory, which is a really, really neat thing. So if you go on the inventory tab, it tells you what your storage, what the what your current storage is for each of the particular categories, and it will tell you what what when you need to reorder and restock, and when you need to start um, thinking about that and start basically reordering, and that has all these really really neat features of like okay when do you need to restock FBA when we have excess inventory and things like that, and how do you track inbound shipments, and it has forecasting, um, and they have a simulator and other things like that, but the forecast tool will probably be the most valuable piece in this when it comes to inventory. Um, you'll be able to track the inventory that's coming as well, uh, since Amazon makes it kind of all over the place when it comes to tracking that. This will be an all-in-one tool to help track all those different things that are happening um, on Amazon. So that's a little bit over the inventory. Most of this is going to be very surface level. I'm not going to go deep in any particular thing because I want to keep it where that way you get a full overview. And so that way the video is not as long and I want to just show you the entire tool and I'm not going to go too deep because there's a lot, I can get real deep real fast. There's a lot of capabilities, but I won't be able to go over everything. Um, and then next is advertising. Uh, I love advertising. So uh, a lot of really, really neat things. It will give you a lot of opportunities of how to use advertising. Saying like, oh, hey, this skews out of stock. You should probably not advertise that. Or like, or it might give you another opportunity. I really like the opportunities is my favorite part of this. And it also helps uh, automated bidding. Um, I expect most of my advertising tools to have some type of automated bids. Um, and you don't have to pay the crazy prices that like this tool does so much more than just advertising and you get just a lot more bang for your buck um i like i in my opinion most advertising tool are just automated bidders and they're nothing special so you get the automated bid portion and everything else which i like personally so you can um turn this on for your particular campaigns and you can give your target a cost and you can start automating the bid. If you get sales, it's going to basically increase your bid. If you're not getting sales, it's going to decrease your bid. That's basically the majority of how automated bids work. And from there, you'll be able to see how your performance is. It'll give you strategies of what you need to increase. It'll give you your overalls, um, overall KPIs of what's kind of happening on the account. Um, and you'll be able to go through the search terms and really, um, go through that. Um, and unfortunately, this account doesn't have any opportunities that it can show you, but under nor normal circumstance, once you get to a very large account, then it'll start showing you these huge opportunities with these big numbers saying like, hey, you can save $10,000 if you have FBA in stock or like these certain things. And it'll give you the things that Amazon should be calling out in the first place. Like, for example, if you don't have stock on your highest selling inventory, you need stock on that. So like, that's what it will like. It'll be in big and red and saying, Hey, get more stock on this product. You're losing hundreds of thousands of dollars. Like those are the things I like in it is, was within that opportunities. So, um, nothing I can show you yet on that because, um, this account doesn't have any, but it's, it's really cool once you attach your account with it. So next I'm going to go into the analytics. They do this amazingly. Like this is so, this is my favorite like one of my favorite account, like favorite tools when it comes to analytics. As you can see, there is a million things I can choose from here, up here. Um, like actually a million, like there's, there's a lot. So I, I am able to choose all these different things of what may be happening on here. I'm not going to go through each one of them, but I, I like how they have these options. 
and then you can see okay what's happening with the overall product sales how many things are out of stock how many lost sales do we have um, and things like that like we lost potentially seventy one thousand dollars in sales just from running out of inventory there we go like that tells us okay we should probably stay in inventory <laughs> so like we need to get better on that uh, what's happening on the advertising what's happening on the customer experience like this gives you like everything all in one it's really cool and this is my this is my favorite part that like that wasn't even the coolest part that's what's neat so if you look at this so you can actually analyze I'm gonna move I don't know where to put myself I'm gonna put myself over here um, then what you can do is so what's cool is this is where the product is so they're blurred currently but what you can do is if you keep going to the right this is all normal like you can see your conversion rate on your product you can see the sales okay so you're seeing the sales you're seeing the conversion rate you're seeing okay how many days did I go out of stock you're like okay wow I went out of stock 12 days that's I lost forty one thousand dollars in sales we're going out of stock for 12 days um, that sucks um, we got forty three thousand dollars in ad sales uh, we got uh, that at a 19 percent a cost what's our conversion rate on this product 24 percent What's our tacos on this? What's our ad spend? Like, these are all things you'll be able to see on a per product basis. You'll be see, okay, what's our return rate? What's our review count? And you'll be able to see all this in one spot. And you'll be able to see, okay, what are the fees breakdown? What are the cost of goods? Um, and like, what are your margins? How much did you make? And whatever it may be. And what I love about this, this is all product level. It's, it's broken down in a way that if one, for example, one product has more fees than the other, it will counter that and actually make it where you see the overall sales on, on what's happening. And you get so much data by on a per product basis. It's amazing. Like, you know how hard it is just to get like the ad sales on one product and the ad spend on, one pro on, a, on a product by product level? That itself is, is difficult. But now you can see, okay, what's our conversion rate on the advertising? What's our conversion rate on the organic listing? And you'll be able to really dive in and seeing, like, hey, what's going on? And if there's anything that stands out to you, you'll be able to see that very easily. If you were trying to get this report in from Amazon, it would be nearly impossible. You'd have to download at least at least six different Excel sheets and you'd have to cross-reference them by ASIN and you would have to do some really fancy stuff. It would take hours. It would take hours to get this and this is all at your disposal. So very neat. Um, I really like the data. That's one of my favorite pieces in this. Um, I would say the, the majority of reason why I like the tool is the first of all the ability to show opportunities saying hey you should do this and that this will make you more money and then b is the analytics on the product by product basis um that's my favorite part so i can see okay but it's mainly because i'm a data nerd by the way <laughs> that's the main reason why i like the data um but like you're really able to see what's really happening within the account what is the product sales looking like 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 you can see all this just in one um it's, it's just really amazing. It really is. So they did a really good job on the tool. Um, they're really cool, um, just in general. So I highly recommend them. If there's any other questions that you guys have, feel free to put it in the comments below. But that is a majority of the reason why I use the tool. Like I said, this tool does a lot more things. It does customer service. It does advertising. It does content, like listings, like listing optimizations. All, like it, it does all these things um, but I don't use that tool for this um, just personally it's just personal preference that's all and um, the more majority reason why I use the tool is the reporting and the opportunities um, and then also the automated uh, the automated bids those are the ma three main reasons why I use the tool and it's a different use case for each person. This tool does a million different things. So if you want to come in and just use only the customer service, you can do that. So pretty cool. Um, try it out. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.